blowy. Um, so let's take off. Uh, let's make sure we've got fuel first, shall we? Um, let's have 10,000. Off we go. So this is with an. Well, I'll show you the options in a minute, but we're getting 30 FPS. It's not bad. Up we go. Oh, took off a bit late because I was talking. Right, so come out of afterburners. So I mean, it's, it's not it's not too bad. The frame rate here is being quite badly affected by the amount of vegetation. So if I go upwards, see so we're getting 50 odd FPS. Uh, if we come down. See, we're, as soon as we start to get trees into view, we start to lose frame rate. So, let's have a quick analysis of this. Now, this is going to be quite dangerous, so I'm going to go go up to 350 knots. And I'm going to put auto throttle on and altitude hold. Uh, grave danger, I'm going to run into something. OK, so we're running at 30 FPS, but what we actually need to look at is this in here, the on-screen statistics. So we can see we've got that. Now what this is showing is this is CPU and that CPU. This cull and draw, entirely GPU, so you can see that even with my GPU, which is pretty fan fancy, well it's not, it was once, R9290, we're still spending quite a lot of time, 20 milliseconds, drawing. Now if I up the sort of graphics detail, the the vegetation, so if I go into rendering options, there's a grave danger we're going to run into something here. So if I, no, 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 this one's so I've got high density, so if I turn that off, pause, it's probably going to crash because that's what it does. You can see now we get a much better frame rate. And you can see that oh, these times here, and that's going to be a mountain. So let's avoid the mountain before going any further. I said avoid it. That's better. Um, so you can see here that we've got much, much better, much lower, not not better, but a much lower sort of time in the GPU, the cull and the draw on the two cameras. Now if I go like that, you can see it's not bad. Go up there, it starts to become significant. Now the other thing I'd do to, 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 if I go and zoom in on a really small patch of ground, you can see suddenly it's hardly doing any drawing because there isn't that much to draw so if we go with that now the other thing we can look at is this monitor system performance now this does impact the frame rate so you will see that the frame rate does drop slightly um, this is really the column that's of most interest this is how much CPU is being used per frame average maximum um, so you can see that we've, if you look at this, we've got the events, it's taken a maximum of 26, typically around 2, um, and the canvas is obviously taking some time. Now, as I've said, I've optimised the F15 to make these times as small as possible, so it is a pretty good, um, pretty good, pretty low, you know what I mean. Doesn't take a, it doesn't take a lot per frame, it spreads out the load. So we're getting 36 frames a second, but it's really, if we pause it, what you're looking at, it's really hard to see. You notice there when I paused it, when you pause it, it stops doing a lot of things. That's kind of showing you that it's this gap here. If you take a screen capture, it's a gap behind, between the end of that yellow bar, the lot bottom draw, and the next vertical line. That's how much CPU time the simulation's actually taking compared to everything else. So let's go and let's go and, let's go and turn on some turn up the rendering options. There's a grave danger I'm gonna die, so if I turn ultra high density that's really gonna affect things. There'll be a pause in a minute where it pops yeah there you go. Massive pause pause while it inserts thousands of trees. Be with us it might have crashed. Could have crashed, we don't know. Who knows? Yep, it hasn't crashed. So you can see now our frame rate has become quite 
bad. Uh, we're down from 30 at the beginning. We've paused again because there's more scenery come into view. So we're down to like, you know, 10 FPS. And look at those yellow trimes for the draw. That's all GPU. So that poor little GPU is working its little socks off. So around we come again. See? Yeah. I mean, there's, one could argue there's significantly too much vegetation here. This is kind of unflyable now. Look at those draw times. How long is that? Half a second to render a frame. Ooh. Right. That's a side effect of poor frame rate. Okay. So while we're sitting down here, um, you can see that the time that's about between three and seven milliseconds and if we go to a different view um, chase view tower view see so again we've got really bad and but look at the amount of trees what do you expect you know, a quarter of a second to draw a single frame you know I wonder I get 16 FPS, that's far far too much stuff. But notice it's actually it's kind of you know, it's okay for a little minute, but then that's obviously that's not a you can't fly with that as you just see, you end up in the ground, you know, smouldering mass of wreckage, which is not a good thing. So I'd normally go on high density, if I just drop it down to say we'd go to medium density for a little bit of an experiment. Immediately see I say immediately, that's a slightly optimistic word, um, you will see when it comes up that things are better so it's now going to be pretty good, could crash, who knows what's going to happen. There we go, so we're now at 40 old FPS, I'm going back into the cockpit, and that, that's kind of better, um, let's go. Oh, into a spin, immediately into a spin, that's not a good thing. Okay, this could be... Ah, oh, I know why. Autopilot was still on. So you see with the medium vegetation we're getting a much better frame rate. But that's just the GPU, so you know, that's just GPU limitation, but this this OSG stats is way more useful than any of the system performance monitors because they're just not fine grained enough. Um, on this in the green ones, their CPUs are the top two green things at a uh, CPU time. And as you can see here on the rendering, we've only got like 2.6 milliseconds to gain, so that's nothing. So, well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope it was useful.